All right, you clicked on the video, so you know what we're doing. Geo boil, boiling geo. This, yes. Okay, but how, you ask? All right, we're gonna hop into Cinema 4D and uh, just delete anything that's in there because we don't need it. And pick a shape, any shape, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. You get to choose and give it some some sub divisions so we have some geometry to work with we'll sub subdivide it later so not don't need super high res geo but something to work with um, and then what we'll need is a cloner and a sphere so I don't know give it a reasonable size to our sphere which goes in our cloner which we will set to object mode and throw your shape into the object section and you can see we've got uh, our spheres cloned all over our object which is great that is what we want but they're a little bit uh, they're a little bit regular looking um, we need uh, we need some randomization in there so, we will grab the random effector. And uh, we're not gonna use it on position though, we're gonna use it on scale. So let's check on scale, uniform scale, and get some nice randomization in there on our scale. Um, and we're also gonna use position, I think. Uh, not so much, because we don't need so much, um, but, uh, yeah, something like that looks pretty good, I think. Um, we'll set the mode to noise, so it'll move around over time, you know, like that. But that's a little fast, probably. A little slow, okay. Reduce the scale so we get uh, a smaller, uh, like smaller, the noise is <laughs> spread out over a smaller area. So like if we if we increase it, you can see it's happening in like large areas uh, across the cloners or cloned objects. And then if we if we reduce it on down, you can see it starts to kind of affect them almost individually. So that is what we want. That is what these parameters do. Knowledge is power. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, we can adjust the position as much as kind of uh, we want to. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that looks good. So, then, um, what we need also is, uh, we're going to need a clone of our, our original shape. So, let's just kind of throw this in a, in a little, uh, section, um, called boil. Uh, we all, always got to have caps lock on. Boil setup. And then, uh, boil final, sure. Um, and then just, yeah, clone your, uh, clone your object from that you started with and put it in the final setup and we'll, uh, we'll use that later. Um, okay. So now what we need to do is we need these to, uh, scale, um, up and down, you know, they need to like pop in and out of existence. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to use a plane effector. So click on your cloner, throw down a plane effector, throw it in your setup, and uh, it's perfect. This is this is it. Yeah, no, not really though. Um, we're going to throw in a random field. Lots of random stuff happening. So uh, our uh, plane effector, we want to be working on scale also. Uniform scale minus one so that it uh it's knocking out all of the uh all of the scale uh or most of the scale of these uh of these objects um uh yeah let's see here all right and uh next thing we want to do is um so so we can see yeah they're they're being affected by the random uh the random field just as they move through it, but uh, we also need them to like 
grow up and down over time. So what we're going to do is uh, on top of our random field, we're going to throw down a curve. And uh, let's see if this does something right now. Okay. So yeah, it is uh, something we have to do a little tweaking to to get it to work. So throw on the uh, Gaussian uh, distribution um, curve and then uh, you can kind of see what we're, what's going on. Things are popping. We got some popcorn action. Um, and uh, let's change this to 25 something. Boom. Just popcorn. Love it. Okay. So, but it's just, it's just coming, it's just coming in and then staying there. So, uh, after curve, we, let's do ping pong, popcorn and ping pong. Yes. So this is, this is what we are after. Um, and yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can mess with the, uh, the animation speed and the, uh, the shape and all that, but this is, uh, you know, this is, um, the heart of, of, of what we're, what we're doing here. And then, uh, so you might wonder how do we get some nice, uh, how do we turn this into a nice boiling boil? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our, um, our final, you know, shape and we're going to do some stuff to that. So we're going to use the, uh, first thing we're going to use is the collision deformer. So the collision deformer basically deforms a mesh, um, using another mesh as like a collider object. Um, if you haven't used it before, it's super fun and it has a several different modes. I think what we're going to use is outside. Don't quote me on that, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's use our cloner as our, as our collider. So you drag the objects into the colliders tab. Um, and let me, yeah. Okay. So we can see something is happening. May not have the right setting here. Let's say inside. Ooh, that looks, that looks boily. Boils. Just infection. All right. So yeah, that's, that's kind of uh, where we're, where we're headed for that. Um, and then what we'll need to do is, uh, we can also throw this in a subdivide so we can see a little bit more resolution on those. Um, and then, uh, we'll also, um, we're also going to put a, uh, jiggle deformer on there, add some extra jiggly motion to our, our boiling and look at that, just boil weird looking stuff we love love it yeah that that is good and then uh let's go back because i want to also add to our uh our original setup another effector so let's add the um delay effector on top of everything so that we can get some nice delays let's do let's try spring let's see what spring gets us I can't tell if we're getting any anything from that. Maybe after. Yeah, I think that's doing stuff now. Okay. Well, yeah, now we're getting some interesting, weird motion movement. Um, I think maybe we want a little bit more variation in our shape size. I don't know. Maybe our random effector can give us that. Something like that. That'll be pretty crazy. Let's see what that looks like. It's really boiling. The pasta is done if it's in that water. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um, that is uh, that is what we need. Uh, that's pretty much the whole setup. And you can apply this setup to any, any geometry, right? Uh, so we could do this on a plane and uh, make some soup. Why not, you know? Okay, for whatever reason, the delay effector was, uh, you know, throwing a wrench in the, biz in the business. Um, so uh, let's let's uh, turn the thing back on. 
and we can see that we are getting some bubbling bubbles and that is what we're after so that's a good thing in this case um, you could throw in a smoothing modifier or a subdivision whatever floats your boat and uh, gets the job done uh, or the delta mush um, so all all good options um, so yeah you could uh, you know quickly uh, turn this into a you know a, a, a vat of boiling soup you know um, make you know make it happen you know uh, whatever you're whatever you're after you know look we can we can have a rolling vat of stew going in no time at all and you know that that's something to be grateful for um so yeah uh that is pretty much pretty much it uh, i want to keep this one short uh short little cool boil and uh yeah questions leave a comment or join me in discord and uh yeah see you in the next one i forgot that we need to uh we need to shade this we need to render it so let's uh let's talk about that let's first switch back to our uh our torus setup so let's put these suckers back on there throw them back down there delete this plane delete that plane put this torus in there okay things are getting cloned yes they are I think we can put our delay effector back and we're boiling okay we're boiling 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 all right and now what we're gonna do is um, we're going to create a uh, vertex map and use the original shape as our uh, as our thing uh, our map and it'll give us the original shape and then the outer boils will be a different uh, a different uh, you know material based on this uh, this map so um, we can do uh, we can do any of these uh, any of these modes I think that surface is going to work the best and then we will create quickly a material and do vertex attribute uh, create another material control drag to just create another another of anything not just materials then we'll need a material blender plug the out color of the vertex attribute into the color and um, the materials in here red is zero uh, yellow is one so the top the, the this uh, material will be the red one and the bottom material will be the yellow one and then we will go uh, in there that'll be that'll be good here let me change the color real quick so we can see what is going down uh, apply that there and uh, let's throw in a, a dome light real quick all right so now we got a dome light and we've got uh, we've got a thing beautiful let's make sure you have the other render thing turned off um, and ah because we have to you got to remember to drag your vertex into the vertex attribute um, and then it will work and so you can see we've got something going on here and uh, let's uh, let's do something with it so let's grab a noise and uh, then a ramp plug the noise into the alt input of the ramp and then into the base color and then uh, we're cooking and yeah let's change the noise type and the uh, and the um, scale as well cool 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 um, I think we're gonna reuse this so let's grab control click and then uh, plug it in down here as well um, and let's say we want like what do we want like a purple and like a blue maybe yeah something like that and then uh, 
up above, maybe a, uh, maybe we do a uh, glass material or something and we can use this ramp we just created as a uh, reflection color or something. All right, let's see. Reflection color. Now you can see we've got uh, some reflections that are colored and noised, all noised up. And then uh, let's grab another noise because we love noise. And we'll do a different noise this time. Uh, how about the Voronoi? And let's grab a bump map, throw that into a bump map, height field bump map, and let's see. You can see, yeah, that's our that's our noise pattern, and um, that is trippy. Uh, and uh, we've got a little bump action going on, so we can increase that if we want to see a little bit more bumply bumply on there. Which yeah, that looks that looks cool, um, and uh, I think you know that is uh, that's a cool little thing. And then uh, you know if we play uh, play our our timeline, we can get other other shapes, you know, uh, move around, look at our boils, whatever. You know, they're your boils. So, all right. That is the actual end. So I will now officially see you in the next one.